Hello, hello. I remember, way back when, in that cursed year that we call 2020, I was a little first year in college, it was October, I was still trying to get used to my new environment, and I saw an Instagram ad for a silly little game called Genshin Impact. Free to play, colorful, anime, Breath of the Wild vibes. I downloaded it immediately. And if you know anything about the marvel that is Genshin Impact, you know I was hooked. I started playing constantly, before class, in between classes, after class, before bed, just so much. Because honestly, I was still acclimating to the feeling of being on campus, and I didn't really know anyone yet, and we all had to stay really far apart, so it was hard to get to know people anyway. During my Genshin obsession, which actually lasted until my iPad ran out of storage recently, rest in peace, I had finally just gotten venti after all that time. Like, literally, I started playing two weeks after launch, and I didn't get venti until spring of 2023. Huh? It'd be like that. I discovered some fun things, such as... Minagawa Junko and Toriyumi Kosuke are the voices of Kaya and Singcho. If you know anything about Pandora Hearts, you know that those voice actors are the voices of Oz and Gil in the anime. And I literally had to sit and scream for an entire day because it was the best thing ever. And that means playing in Japanese in Genshin is basically like playing with Oz and Gil anyway. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to try to see what Pandora Hearts characters might be like if they were in Genshin. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that this process has been taking me a while. I'm so sorry. Alright, so, Gil. I started with Gil because I love him and adore him, and I've drawn him a lot, so I feel really comfortable drawing him. I created a poll on Instagram where you guys voted that you thought he would be great with a cryovision, so that's the direction I went. It worked out great because of his original color palette and the colors he and the night rays are associated with, aka blue. <laughs> I started by creating a mood board for the overall vibe I wanted him to have and the ways that vibe could tie into his element. Initially, I think I was going for some kind of pirate theme. I'm not really sure why since Gil is more of a dandy than a pirate character or even a rogue, honestly, but you can still see the initial pirate influences coming through in the final design. I also looked at different vibes of ice and snow to kind of get an idea of how I wanted to incorporate those into his design. Slightly opposite of that pirate aesthetic, I chose a bow to be his weapon because of the long-range aspect of his canon choice of weapon, his gun. After some initial sketches, which I also used to test colors and solidify what kind of palette I actually wanted to go for, I moved to a different canvas and started working on the pose I actually wanted. Genshin designs are <laughs> incredibly complex and well done. All of the intricate elements tie together in a way that turns out beautifully. Before I started working on this Pandora Impact exercise, that's what I'm calling it by the way, Pandora Impact, um, <laughs> I also think that Genshin Hearts sounds fun, but Pandora Impact has a little bit of chef's kiss. Before I started working on this project, I hadn't really felt very confident in my character designs at all, so trying to make characters that looked like they could maybe be part of this game has been a huge help in teaching me through practice. It's also been a little bit of a nightmare, but you know, Learning often comes through difficulty. That also means, though, that I wasn't super skilled here during this first design, and I think the elements ended up coming together okay in the end, but it's a little plain still, and I think it could look more like a Genshin design. That's the thing. I'm never really sure where to put the intricate elements and extra details. Like, I feel like whenever I try, it just looks sloppy and busy, but if I leave them out, they look plain or they don't look enough like a Genshin character. Oh yo, why are you like this? <laughs> how do you how do you have talent? I will see all these people making like beautiful Genshin OCs and I'm just stunned and impressed and I aspire to one day be that skilled in my Genshin art. Oh well. More things to keep in mind as I continue to practice. For Gil's final design, I went with something that was still vaguely pirate or ranger reminiscent, but that also aimed to tie back to Gil's canon outfit through the high collar and the icicle-shaped brooches that almost act as buttons. I don't so I don't know what the chains are connecting to. Are they just buttons? Um. I also gave him a real piercing rather than just the cuff that he usually wears because I figured in this universe, maybe... Gil went off on his own to join the Knights of Favonius or something, and maybe this Gil wouldn't let his brother Vincent bully him into keeping it unpierced. 
Also, something you might have noticed in both the initial sketch and in this final design, I tend to write notes to myself as I go, sometimes just to remind myself what I had wanted to work on next when I took breaks between drawing sessions, and also to remind myself what issues I saw that I didn't feel like working on right at that moment. Lol, like the... Ugh. I made a tiny script for this video, and I wrote like thy for what and why that you saw by his thigh holster earlier. That's supposed to say the... <laughs> A little rhyme for your afternoon, but also sometimes I leave notes that are intended for both me and you who are watching to see later. Sometimes just to be funny, I guess, but I think part of it is to like let my future self and any viewers know that I knew there was something wrong with the part I was working on, but maybe I wasn't sure how to fix it? Which is, I think, some kind of silly little technique to save myself from embarrassment, like, I see it, I think it looks weird too. It's interesting that I felt the need to do that. I'm sorry, I overuse this meme, but I love 2000s Nick so much, please let me have this. So for instance, I wrote this little note about how short I feel like he ended up, and looking at it now, I think it has something to do with the length of his coat, maybe even the shape. But I did check his height by counting the number of heads, which I haven't done for a while, so that was kind of a fun little throwback to my art book phase. And if you've been following my art for a while, you'll recognize my telltale trait of not going back and doing refined line art passes, but instead heading straight in with color once I have a pretty clean sketch. Or even some sloppy line art like I've got here. It just, it makes my goose brain happy when there's colors. And I really like shading digitally, especially skin, so I can never resist doing that as soon as possible. I did a quick pass of the basic flats that I had settled on after the initial thumbnail sketch, but then I thought it would be good to try to figure out a background, and at the time, I still wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to make these finished designs look. Or, what I'm trying to say is I wasn't sure if this was going to be more of a reference sheet, wish art, or a finished piece involving them somewhere in the game. So I did play around with what that would look like, roughing in some colors and shapes from one of my favorite spots to sit and chill up on those mountains between Mount Hulao and Juyun Karst. However, I scrapped that pretty quickly because it blended in a little too closely with the colors of his design, and I wanted the design to stand out better and be more of a focal point. Next, I refined the shape of the bow, which I struggled a bunch with because I haven't really ever enjoyed drawing weapons. Uh, sorry to everyone who does, you're very much more impressive than I am. And so I don't really have a lot of practice with it. Designing my own weapon without ever doing any real weapon art studies was obviously a bit of a challenge. But we pushed through, and next I focused on cleaner flat colors, not just the blocked in version from before. Overall, I had a lot of fun playing with gradients in this design. I think those are really what add the fun and the life to Gil's character here. I especially love the faint one in his hair. I just had a lot of fun with that. Hands are kind of an important thing when it comes to Gil, wink wink, and he uses gloves a lot in the manga, so I wasn't sure what exactly I wanted to do around his hands at first. Gloves looked good, but I felt like it made his hands harder to find in the design, partially just because of the way I composed this piece, and partially because I don't know how to draw leather yet, so they had no shine, oops, sorry, but I felt like he needed gloves to some degree, especially as a little archer boy, I don't know if that's true or not, I just have an internal belief that archers wear gloves help and so i gave him cool fingerless ash ketchum gloves to perfectly match his half pirate half dandy design ash ketchum my love i'm channeling your energy today next i literally didn't notice that visions had a special little thingy that they sit in please excuse me we didn't have inazuma yet and i hardly paid attention to them to visions that is so i thought yeehaw i will be so cool and put his vision in the eye of the raven slash crow armor thing he wears for aesthetics I did notice, by the way, that if that was supposed to be some kind of shoulder protector for the string or arrow or kickback or whatever, that it was on the wrong shoulder for where I was planning he'd shoot from. I have this headcanon, at least I think it's not canon, that Gil is ambidextrous, so I guess it doesn't matter a ton, but wait, no, is it on the correct side? Guys, my brain is too boggled. Anyway, I actually did a bunch of research about archery when I was making this piece, but then it's been a couple years, three to be exact, no, maybe two, I think it's been two, two years. Anyway, it's been a couple years and I don't, I don't remember things. I'm, I'm really sorry. I have to keep, keep up with research or I, I lose what I learned. Anyway, <laughs> next I started the thing that gave me the most grief during this piece, the background. Oof. So, like I mentioned earlier, I wasn't exactly sure going into this whether I wanted it to be a reference sheet, wish art, or that like character screen that pops up when you go to look at your character details in-game. Here you can see me trying out, just 
various different ideas before eventually I tried to settle on a reference sheet inspired by the character details screen. I'm highlighting the word tried here because it... I'm not gonna say it turned out well. Super fast time lapse of me just throwing every special effect brush in Procreate at the screen because I had no idea what to do. Yeah, that's foreshadowing. <laughs> But to be honest, I think a lot of my confusion and stress when it came to this background stemmed from the fact that I neglected to make any kind of thumbnails, any, for the drawing as a whole, meaning character and background. I, silly goose, foolish noodle that I am, only thumbnailed the outfit and then tried to make a whole piece, a whole piece, that looked good cohesively, when the only thing I thumbnailed was the outfit. This background really is some of my worst work, not gonna lie. I did not know how to draw snow at the time, so I threw the Procreate element brushes at my canvas like hot pasta against a brick wall, and besties, it did not stick. So, yeah, we, we have learned since then, and I, I will hopefully never do something like that again, because it was just, I look back at this piece and I need to give it a different background. Eventually, I will. I'm actually working on a redraw of him right now. I was gonna finish it for this video maybe, I think I mentioned that earlier, Ugh, anyway. If you're just here cause Genshin, hi, that's cool. Go read Pandora Hearts, it's amazing, and it's by the creator of Vanitas no Carte, if you've ever heard of that, except Pandora Hearts is chef's kiss, and I love it so much more. My cat is giving herself a bath again, I'm sorry if you can hear that. Creating this final bit to be like Gil's elemental burst, was harder than with the others because he is the only one whose skill I either didn't really plan out or I don't remember what I planned out for it. Um, so yeah, to kind of make this video more fun, I wanted to give him like a wish animation and there is actually a wish animation template out there. I don't remember the name of the creator or like how to pronounce it, but it's in the description and it's in the video later when we see that animation. I knew that I wanted Gil's burst to be related to Raven, his chain from the manga, but other than that, I don't really think I had any plans for it. And so coming back to this a couple years later now and trying to make this animation, he needed obviously like burst art to go with his design to put into the animation. And when I say animation, that probably sounds too lofty. I just mean like when you wish and your character appears. But anyway. My, my point um, <laughs> is that it is so difficult to work on a project like this without a plan, but my brain was just blanking. Like I was like, I don't know what Gil's skill is gonna do because I really want him to be able to be a good like character to be alongside Oz. And because I don't know what Oz's skill is gonna do exactly yet, I feel like I can't plan him. So I just, once again, threw random randomness into existence and I tried this ice wing idea. At first I tried to copy that, like if you've read Pandora Hearts, you know, that scene where Raven appears and there's like the chains and the fire. Um, and I tried to put Raven like in the background, but it just, it didn't look right, especially because it can't fill the whole screen like the manga panel can, because this has to kind of stand alone as its own shape. So then I decided to just make the ice at the bottom kind of mimic fire slightly. It's more just swirls, but it mimics fire slightly. And then I didn't add any chains because they were coming from nowhere, but I think in the game his actual skill would involve chains of ice and raven like appearing somehow but this is what we got also i can draw ice but not in shapes if that makes sense so like if somebody asked me to draw like a frozen lake or like an ice cube i would be able to draw it but somehow drawing ice and coloring it and making it look good in a shape like a weird shape like wings i struggle with so much it's occurring to me just now that i could have probably found an ice sculpture and copied that but i did not think about using an ice sculpture as reference until this very moment so overall I like that the color is bright and then it looks kind of fun and vibrant and like frosty and sparkly um so when I redraw Gil and give him kind of his redesign I'll try to redesign what his elemental burst and skill end up looking like if you have any ideas about what Gil's skill and burst could do, totally let me know in the comments because my brain is not very good at coming up with these things and the ideas other people come up with are 
100% of the time so much cooler than the things that come to me as ideas and if we can work together we can create something really fun and so I want to hear what you guys have to say about it let me know let me know that was my arm cracking as I moved it <laughs> anyway I hope the rest of your afternoon goes well and thank you so much for watching bye